Good morning. It is Monday, January 16th, and today is day six of the 2023 legislative session. Uh, last week kicked off the session on Wednesday, and to be honest, it was an action-packed day and action-packed week for the first week of the legislature. On Wednesday, the Senate passed 25 bills. Now, they were able to do that because they were able to suspend the constitutional rules that a bill be read on three separate occasions. Most of the bills that came out were not all that controversial, but had been legislation that had been contemplated for quite some time. Now, of those bills that passed, uh, there were some pretty significant ones. Senate Bill 126 would divide the Department of Health and Human Resources into three separate parts. DHHR has been getting a lot of attention heading into the session, and it will be a major discussion point all session long. Uh, to be honest, some of the results that are coming out of that agency have been quite troubling and have been troubling all of the members of the legislature. Uh, this is especially the case for children who are in the foster care system, children who are, who are in abusive situations. So there's going to be a lot of discussion to make sure that that agency is organized in a way that it can provide efficient and thorough care uh, and be responsive to the citizens of West Virginia. So Senate Bill 126 was sort of the first bill, but there we expect there to be several different bills on this topic and a lot more discussion on what that final product will be. The same day that they passed that, they also passed Senate Bill 127 out of the Senate. Now, this bill relates to PEIA, the Public Employees Insurance Agency, and the reimbursement rates to uh, uh, medical providers. Currently, PEIA reimburses hospitals at 50% of Medicare rates. Frankly, that is not sustainable. So Senate Bill 127 would change that reimbursement rate from 50% to 110% of Medicare. Now, that's important because as a state with a majority of its population living in a border county, uh, if people travel across the border to a hospital out of state, the reimbursement rates are sometimes five or six times more than what they would be to a West Virginia hospital. And that's because those hospitals are able to negotiate with PEIA. Uh, we also expect other legislation on this topic, including uh, bills that if, if someone is on PEIA, but their spouse has the ability to get insurance through their workplace, that their spouse would be required, required to take that insurance. So Senate Bill 127 passed out, but we also expect to see several other pieces of legislation pertaining to PEIA, which has been uh, a situation that needs to be addressed in order to make sure that the people who are on that plan can continue to require, receive uh, proper care. Now, last week during his State of the State address, Governor Justice announced a 50% cut to the personal income tax over the next three years. That bill is House Bill 2526, and it passed out of the Finance Committee on Friday and is queued up on first reading in the House of Delegates today. Now, the way that bill would work is it would cut 30% off the income tax this year across all brackets, 10% next year, and 10% the following year. Uh, that bill is expected to leave the House this week and head to the State Senate, but there will be a lot more discussion because the Senate may have some different ideas on how that tax reform should look. But the big point here is that we're looking at a $1.7 billion surplus by the end of this fiscal year. We had a $1.3 billion surplus last year. So it is definitely time to provide tax relief to West Virginians, and we are so happy that this is going to be a major discussion point this session. Uh, those are some of the major issues that we saw last week. We're going to continue to see some big bills moving this week, and we'll be back to update you some more. But those are the top three, uh, sort of from our perspective last week, on the major initiatives at the legislature. And I'll check back in with you later to give you another update. Thank you.